Hey guys, today we're going to talk about main ideas again. So we've discussed them um, now for the uh, for only a week, two weeks, I think two weeks. Uh, we've been talking about them for quite a while. And um, your first main idea exercise was a little bit uh, difficult overall. So we're going to discuss them a little bit more and look at some paragraphs that perhaps are not quite so friendly as the ones that we've looked at first. Okay, so just remember to help you l find the main idea, you can use a topic uh, to lead you there. And you're going to want to find, hand, or ask who or what uh, we're talking about. We can also go ahead and look for keywords to lead us to the main idea. And these are just some of the examples that you can look for. Among the results, a series of several kinds of a number of effects, some factors in, five steps. Remember, you could mix and match these. It could be five effects, um, three effects, a series of steps, a series of results among the, among the different kinds, among the factors, several factors. So you can mix and match there. Uh, lastly, look for your supporting details. We've talked at length about how to find supporting details. So if you can find the supporting details first, that will point you to the topic sentence. However, if you can find the topic sentence, that is the main idea, that can point you to the supporting details. Okay, are you ready? Um, you might want to go ahead and read each paragraph. Go ahead and pause if you'd like and try to find that, um, try to figure out which sentence is the main idea. So most teenagers and young adults do not know what they want to do for the rest of their lives. It is a big decision. There are a number of things you can do to narrow the choices. For example, you can take an interest test, do some research on your own about a career, try volunteer work in the field in which you are interested, or job shadow in which you spend a day with a person who is working in a field that interests you. These are just a few helpful ideas as you begin to choose a career. Okay, so I don't... Um, I guess I do see, I do see, hmm, the idea, I see a career, I see job, um, I see career here, I see, um, let's change the color, oops, that did not help in color. Let's try um, blue. Okay, so there's choose. There's choices right here. Okay, so I suppose if I see career and job, let's see, do I see anything else? The idea of what to do for the rest of the lives, I think that's talking about a career or a job. Uh, we see the word work right here. Sorry, it's in blue. It should be in red. Um, we see work, working, job, career, multiple times. And then we see choices twice. Okay, so it seems like we're looking for a sentence that has to do with um, jobs, careers, and choices. Okay, do you see anything there? Um, another thing you can look to for are keywords. Let's go ahead and change the pen one more time. How about we do a highlighter? Okay. Look, I have a number of things and a few helpful ideas. Both of those are keywords to help us point us to the uh, main idea. Okay, and this is a tricky, tricky sentence. Okay, uh, our paragraph because, and not actually not so tricky. It's it's actually quite nice um, because. Let's change it to. Can I do a blue highlighter? Okay, um, we actually have two sentences here that say the same thing. There are a number of things you can do to narrow the choices. And by choices, we mean choices and job. And these are just a few helpful ideas as you begin to choose a career. Those sentences say the exact same thing. So on an exam, you could say it's either three or five. If you said three and five, that would be the best, um, best option. And if we go back and make sure that it supports, um, you're going to see that up here, actually, this area, back, control P, this right here, 
It's just an introductory phrase. It says, most teenagers and young adults do not know what they want to do for the rest of their lives. This paragraph is not just about teenagers and young adults not knowing what they want to do for the rest of their lives. If it were, we'd see examples of, I don't know, example of Sammy, and Sammy doesn't know what he wants to do, and an example of Freddie, and Freddie doesn't know what he wants to do. Or there's statistics of, you know, like... 50% of 18-year-olds or 50% of 20-year-olds don't know what they want to do in recent surveys. That's not what the paragraph is about, okay? But if I want to test, if it says a number of things you can do to narrow the choices of careers or a few helpful ideas as you begin to choose a helpful career, let's see. So one of the ideas is take an interest test. We can do some research. So this is one first thing. We can do research. We can volunteer work we can or we can job shadow okay there's four different and it's kind of tricky because it's all in one sentence but um, there are four major uh, details going on just in that one sentence okay you want to try it again here we go okay so here we say a study at one prison um, shows that owning a pet can change a hardened prison inmate into a more caring person Another study discovered that senior citizens, both those living alone and those in nursing homes, became more interested in life when they were given pets to care for. Even emotionally disturbed children have been observed to smile and react with interest if there is a cuddly kitten or puppy to hold. Animal then can be a means of therapy for many kinds of individuals. Okay, so we can go ahead and see what we see. Oh. Hi, for the, the yawn. It's late here on a Friday, so um, I apologize for that. Um, but we see we have pet here. We have pet here. We have, we don't have pet, but we do have cuddly kitten and puppy. That's the same thing as a pet. We have animals. Okay, let's see what else that we have. Um, we also have study, study, mm, see two studies, maybe, maybe it's about studies, maybe it's not, okay, um, and then there's, I mean, there's four sentences in here, I mean, we can ask ourselves, if we think number one is a topic sentence, is it just about prisoners with pets, nope, because we also talk about senior citizens and children. Is it about just senior citizens? Nope, we can't because we talk about prisoners and children. Is it about children? Again, no, because um, it, we're also talking about prisoners and senior citizens. Okay, so I've ruled out just from another uh, another number of means of what this possi possibly could be. And so I'm going to guess that it is four. Okay, so I'm going to guess it's four is my main idea and then we're just going to double check animals then can be a means of therapy for many kinds of animal uh, individuals so are they talking about animals yeah they're talking about pets pets and then kittens and puppies okay every sentence has to do with that um and does it talk about many kinds of individuals i think so because here we're talking about inmates right that's one type uh, we talk about senior citizens this is another type and we talk about children as our last type so I would say that falls under many kinds of individuals so this right here let's see if I can make a star number four is our main idea okay let's try a couple more the movie Apollo 13 was a blockbuster for the summer of 1995 it is an exciting story about space space exploration in the movie, astronauts get into trouble while they are trying to return to Earth. People in the audience are on the edge of their seats waiting to see what happens. What makes it even more exciting is that it, it is a true story. Okay, so um, the things I see over again are movie Apollo 13. We refer to it as an it. We talk about movie. We discuss um, it right here. So... It seems like the main idea has to do with um, Apollo 13. Okay, um, this particular paragraph is not great in terms of it doesn't have a lot of um, transitions, it doesn't have a lot of signal words to help us out here. There's not like a first, second, third that would be really helpful, but it decided not to do that. Okay, so um, let's play the game. If number one were our main idea, it says the Apo movie Apollo 13 was a blockbuster for the summer of 1995. Okay, so does it tell us, um, if we expected um, 
that this is a topic sentence. They should tell us what makes it a blockbuster. Now, some of the things that make something a blockbuster is that it makes a lot of money and lots of people go to it. There's nowhere sentence two, three, four, five, none of that discuss how many people want to see and how much money it made. Okay, so it doesn't seem like that support that it was a blockbuster. Okay, um, they didn't prove their case. How about is it an exciting story about space exploration? Okay, so in this case, um, I don't know, astronauts try uh, getting in trouble. That sounds like it could be exciting. People in the edge of their seats um, seems exciting, and they even say it's exciting because it's a true story. Okay, this sentence right here, okay, in this case, we looked for the topic. We know we had to be talking about Apollo 13, but what about Apollo 13? It's an exciting story. Okay, and again, this is, I mean, it's very subjective. Other people might think it's very boring, but this person at least proved he gave us three, he or she gave us three reasons why he thought it was an, an exciting story. Um, so he at least supported his main idea. Whether or not, remember, we don't have to agree with the main idea for it to the main, be the main idea. So the main idea in this particular sentence is number two, number two, number two. And that was, that honestly was a little bit trickier than the ones that we've looked at uh, earlier. Okay, again, this one's a little tricky, but we are on our way to becoming a cashless checklist society, a trend that began with the credit card. Now some banks are offering debit cards instead of the credit cards. The cost of purchases made with these cards are deducted from the holder's bank account instead of being added to a monthly bill. And checking accounts, which are mainly used for paying bills, are going electric. Now some people can make computer transactions over the push-button phones to pay bills by transferring money from their account to the account of whomever they owe. Soon we, we may be able to conduct most of our business without signing a check or actually seeing the money we earn and spend. Let's see. Um, this one this one's a lot harder. Um, where we might want to start is we see perhaps now could be giving us an idea and um, we have the and that's telling us kind of like additionally also um, how about on this other now and we have soon so it does seem like it maybe has a little bit of transitions a little uh, a few signal words to point out that these are, are supporting details um, and so with that, we're only left over with this sentence and this sentence. So uh, we are on our way to becoming a cashless checklist society, a trend that began with a credit card. Okay, so does it tell us how that we don't use cash and we don't use checks? Okay, number two seems to say so because we can use debit cards. Um, and it looks like number three cannot be the main idea because this is supports this so it tells us what debit cards are so it's saying the cost of purchase is made with these cards are deducted from the holder's bank account okay so this definitely relates and explains this so this cannot i mean it's not even a major detail it's a it's a minor detail right here so this can't right here be our main idea how about checking accounts for return mainly used for paying bills or going electric electronic okay that sounds like we're having no more checks no more cash how about now some people can make computer transactions over their push button phones okay um, this was written a while ago because it should talk about cell phones but yep it's talking about how you don't need cash or checks and lastly soon we may be able to conduct most of our business without signing a check or actually seeing the money we spend and earn again that shows that we are cashless and checklist so number one is is our main idea, our topic sentence of the paragraph. Okay, let's go ahead. And this, I'm going to tell you guys, this one is the toughest, 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 in my opinion. But, um, you know, you just might, don't be scared of it because it might be a lot easier for you than it was for me when I first looked at it. So, the United States seems to be in love with the idea of going out to eat. Oh, pardon me? Because of this, a real variety of restaurants has come about specializing in all kinds of foods. McDonald's is the king of a subgroup of restaurants called fast food restaurants. Chances are, no matter where you live, there is a McDonald's restaurant near you. There are even McDonald's in the Soviet Union. 
Now McDonald's is trying something new. It is called McDonald's Express, and there's a test site in Peabody, Massachusetts. It's part of a mobile gas station. This allows you to fill up with gas and, um, and fill up on food at the same time. What will they think of next? Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we see over and over again. I see McDonald's, 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 McDonald's. Okay, that's all McDonald's. Do we see anything else that we see over and over again? Uh, we do see restaurants a number of times. Let's go ahead and choose a different pen. Pointer options in color white. So I see um, restaurants here, restaurants here, restaurants here. Um, I suppose going out to eat. Okay, the problem that I have here is in terms of if it's just about restaurants, um, you know, that only goes to about here. McDonald's starts up here and goes through sentences three, three and following. Um, and really even eight is still talking about McDonald's and the what will they think of next is the they is referring to McDonald's. Okay, so I don't think it can just be just about restaurants because if it were just about restaurants, it would talk about Burger King or Taco Bell or something like that. So I don't think that has to do uh, with just restaurants. So I would assume our topic sentence has McDonald's in it. So how about McDonald's is the king of a subgroup of restaurants called fast food restaurants. Um, so if that, so they're saying McDonald's is the king. They're making a proclamation. Do they prove that? Does the writer prove that? They say McDonald's is everywhere. So that's the first thing. There's a McDonald's everywhere, number four. Um, then they're saying McDonald's is very innovative. Okay, McDonald's is trying something new. Okay, um, so this seems, and again, let me get another, let's get a highlighter. Right here seems, the, and this was harder, I tell you. This seems like it covers everything in the sentence. And remember, sometimes we can have some introductory uh, sentences, and they relate to what's going on, but usually these are used to give you some background on the situation, or they're used if we have multiple paragraphs to connect one paragraph to another. And I think that's what's happening here in sentence number one and two. It has nothing really to do with the main idea. It's just kind of bringing you in uh, to the conversation about McDonald's. Okay, so uh, that was the last one we'll talk about. And you're actually going to revisit that first main ideas practice that you did uh, in the beginning. And hopefully things will click a little bit more because these were more difficult paragraphs. First of all, you'll notice that in each one of that, you'll see that the, um, it, sorry, in this one, we see the main idea in the middle. If we go back, we see the main idea at the very first sentence. In this one, the main idea is the second sentence. Here we have the main idea all the way in the very last sentence. That's that's pretty rare, but it happens. Certainly, um, it can happen. Uh, and here we have the main idea stated two times, with the towards the beginning and at the very end. Okay, so as you look for the main idea, remember it does not always need to be the very first thing. Um, it can be in the middle. It can be at the beginning. It can be at the end. And ask yourself. Does everything in the paragraph or most of the stuff in the paragraph um, support that topic sentence? Because again, we saw like in this paragraph, um, this paragraph even, and this paragraph that the author used a couple lines to really um, as an introductory piece. So hopefully main ideas are starting to click a little bit more and make more sense for you. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.